Hello, Let's Play fans! Welcome back to my LP of Zero Mission for the Game Boy Advance. Since the last episode, I figured out where I wanted to go. So hey, let's get heading there already. Got a few items I want to get, and some of them are rather difficult to get. Like this very first one we're gonna go after. So hopefully I'll get them right on the first try. If not, hey, you get to watch me fuck up, and that's always amusing. Alright, so we just want to bomb our way over here, fall on acid, why not? So, alright, how to get this very first item is you want to head, get as far over here as you can, and then run for it. Shoot the door open, charge your speed booster, go back through the door, get the ball, and shoot left! Alright, and charge it up again, and shoot left one more time! And there you go! That's how you acquire the super missile tank! That wasn't too bad, was it? Well, I, I can guarantee there's a few people watching this going, What the fuck? How the hell did he do that? Lots and lots of practice, people. <laughs> I was doing this for like 15 minutes off camera, just trying to practice to get it right. Because I do a lot of test plays for games like this to make sure I can fit in everything I want to into the allotted time slot that I'm going to do. So, yeah, so, so I have to practice a little bit. So I'm not, like, completely fucking up everything. Even though I'm just getting my ass handed to me by every enemy on fucking Brinstar. Thank you. Just die already. Ah, oh, Jesus. And as I'm recording this, I'm actually nearing 100 subscribers. I thought I'd never thought I'd get that far. I mean, I know, it's just a drop in the bucket to most LPers that have, like, hundreds, even thousands of subscribers, but... You know, I'm still relatively new. It's been... Actually, I think this month it's been a year since I started doing LPs. So hey, happy anniversary to me. So I think I started on June 10th, if I'm not mistaken. Alright. But enough babbling. Let's see if I can get up here already. This is just, this is horrible. I hate how they put those crumble blocks there. Because it's just atrocious. Alright, here we go. God damn it! <laughs> I want to get up here. Figured I'd be going through everything else, getting it flawless, and this is like the one thing I'm fucking up on. Hey, you're not getting me this time, you fucking asshole! All right, head over this step. What the hell are these things? They're really disturbing looking. They have like giant purple eggs or something. They make this disgusting sound when they die, though. Oh, oh, get off me! Alright, now that we got the high jump boots, we can actually use the morph ball jump. That can get us through this area relatively easy. Alright, bomb that open. Get these bugs over here to munch on this thing. Ow, get off me. Ow, they actually drain your HP. That sucks. Or your energy, I mean. And we get the various suit! You can tell I play way too many uh, Final Fantasy games. And check it out! We're sporting a brand new orange! The suit has a 10 and a spray can effect going on now. Alright, now we can head down here, because hey look! Energy tank! Me want! Me want to om nom! So just open this passageway up, and nom 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 nom! Energy tank required! Five energy tanks. Quite badass. Alright. And yeah, I've mentioned this before. Uh, on and off between all the videos so far is that I'm definitely not going to do a 100% run. I watch someone go through and play a 100% run and th this is a professional player by the way and it's still, they had to go way out of their way do ridiculous tricks just to get them and that was just horrible. It's like, I don't want to do that. I mean, I'll attempt some of the things but I'm not going to be backtracking my ass through half of a uh, the map just to get something. So sorry to anyone that wanted to see a 100% run. Just ain't gonna happen for me. If you wanna see it, I'd gladly link you to someone else that can do a lot better than me. It's like I said, not my favorite Metroid game. So I've played it maybe twice in my whole life. Excluding now. <laughs> Alright, yeah, freeze you buddy, you're not getting me. Neither you, haha, <laughs> fucking dick sauce. Oh, well, he'll get me, though. 
Yeah, uh, and, and him. Uh, I gave them permission earlier, yeah. Alright, let's keep heading this way. Yeah, it's been a little while since I've recorded a video. That's why I'm a little rusty on the commentary. Because I had a lot of errands to run, a lot of shit to do, a lot of neighbors to put up with. I was putting up with them today, and it's like over the stupidest reason, too. I mean, they're standing out in the middle of the road, they have their kids out in the middle of the road, and we're just driving down to get in our house, and they're yelling at us to slow down and watch out what we're doing. It's like, well, here's a little pro tip. If you don't want to get run over, don't stay in the fucking road. Because, <laughs> I don't know. A lot of people like that, they're just looking for a fight, so I just like to piss them off. It's one of the things I like to do, because I'm an evil son of a bitch. Alright, we got that missile tank there. So now what we're going to do is head back into Norfair. I know a lot of back and forth in this game. It's annoying as fuck. Oh, couldn't charge it. Oh well. Like I said, I don't like the speed booster because you can't tell if you're picking up enough speed. Could be just me though. Other people could probably see a little bit of speed increase. But not me. I, I don't see it. I don't like it. I mean, I like how... Using the speed booster tricks doesn't drain your energy like it did in Super Metroid, because that was kind of astacular. So you can do like all these uh, fancy tricks, and you don't have to worry about your energy. And away we go! All right, uh, we actually don't want to go down there quite yet, because there's one thing I forgot here earlier. I know, I know. It was a, it was a hot room up here, but I gotta got. Went in here if I manned up and just took a little bit of heat damage to get it. Save myself some time. But hey, I decided to take the wuss's way out. Leave me alone. Because in here is just a single missile tank. Yeah, it's just like two minutes out of my way. Ah, God, I really hate shooting at angles. Like I said, it's just really awkward controls. But I know, I know, it was on the... Game Boy Advance, and there's not much you can do about that. You've got limited controls. <laughs> I like how she skids to a stop and uh, you slow down from the speed booster. It's <laughs> actually kind of neat. Alright, we get our uh, super missile out. Blow this door open. But we want to actually charge up our speed booster. Head over here, and away we go again! Bam! Fuck all of you, I'm not gonna go through your maze. But before we go too far... Let's get this! A missile tank! yippity doo -da. That's right, I said it. What you gonna do? Alright, and here you wanna make sure you set the bomb up there. Cause if you set it down on the floor, then the floor's gonna blow out underneath you. And that is no bueno! Alright, get enough room to charge up our thing again, and away we go! That was fun, wasn't it? Much more fun than Chuck E. Cheese! Alright, get enough room to charge up the speed booster. Yeah, there's just a lot of speed booster uh, traps and tricks in here, isn't there? Alright, we want to head this way and just run into enemies, why not? Absolutely beautiful. I could charge up, yeah, I'll take it like a man. I was on a man earlier, decided to get the barrier seat. He didn't want to stay in a heat room. So I'll just take it like a man now. No more being a sissy. Okay, I see all these enemies up here, and now I want to be a sissy again. Alright, just make sure you kill them all, because they'll fuck your shit up. Alright, just shoot out all these blocks. It's rather tedious to do, I know. I don't know why they do this. Maybe the game just hates us. Secretly wants us dead. Now one thing I've learned, I don't know if this is true or not, but... I heard that there's a uh, hidden mode when you beat the game, where you can play the original Metroid. That'd be kinda cool. 
Because the original Metroid's certainly a shitload better than this. <laughs> yeah, fuck you guy, I'm out of here. I know there's a few people that like this game more, but I don't. So if you take out your missiles and shoot up here... Hey, secret passage! I love secret passages. Oh, shit. Hey, it's these jet asses, or whatever the hell they're called. But more importantly, screw attack! Now I can screw all the enemies in the game. That did not come out right. Aha! And also with the screw attack, we can break through certain blocks, like there. You saw it has a little screw attack symbol. So those are special blocks that we can break through. Alright, just blow this way open. I don't think there's anything to the left, so... And if there is, like I said, I don't care about it. I'm not after 100%, so I'm not going to be freaking out if I'm going to miss a missile pack or something. Ah, Jesus. Now, if I was really good with a uh, speed booster, I could have came through here really fast. But, hey, I'm not that good with it. I can't do um, mid-air tricks. That, to me, that's always been hard to do. I think I've only been able to do that in Super Metroid a handful of times. Yeah, you. once you get to know me, I will reference Super Metroid a lot. And yes, that is coming up on my playlist. Alright, just kill all these enemies. Now to get that... See, I want to get one of these bug dudes and freeze him while he's over here. And instead of failing to freeze him like I am. Ow. <laughs> well, that didn't really work out, did it? Alright, come on, buddy. You know you wanna. Man, I suck at doing this. Come on. Uh, 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 oh! Damn it. <laughs> come on. Get over here. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm gonna cry now, is that fine? You guys mind if I cry a little bit? Uh, okay, I think... I think... This won't work. Alright, let's just kill you, take your energy. Why not, so I can help you spawn a little bit faster. There we go! Super Missile Tank! Yeah, there's also a little... side area over here that I'm not going to be able to make it to, honestly. I'll check that out later when I get, like, the space jump or something. <laughs> no way I'm going to be able to do that. Fuck that. Now, wasn't there something hidden down here? I knew it. My imagination again. It's always fucking me over, man. Actually, let's get our speed booster charged up here. And away we go! This is how you get to the room. Man style. Or woman, if you're counting Samus. Whoa, hello. I did not know that could happen. Let's see. Actually, there is something over this way. What is in here? Map room, why not? Uh, this place looks like it blows. Not for map data acquired. So yeah, as you saw, this is fake lava here. Let's get heading down here. Down meow. Ooh, shit! I don't like this room. Ow, ow. Well, at least it isn't like the original Metroid where you can get trapped in some areas. Uh, this room looks like it had something in it, but probably not till later. All right, uh, fuck you guys. I said, Screw you guys. I'm going home. All right, there's something down there too. What's over this way? Ooh, that was cool. <laughs> Oh, wait. 
Actually, let's head back that way real fast. Now I remember what was down that way. We definitely want it. I think we definitely need it, too. I don't think you can get through some part of the game without it. Hey, buddy, I got something for you. Screw you! Ha ha ha! That's what you get. Bitch. And here we get the wave beam! The almighty wave beam. Check it out. Badassery. So where are we going to go now? Well, we'll have to figure out in the next video, so stay tuned for more. Metroid Zero Mission! Booyah, bitches!